Hello and welcome to the dungeon where today I'm going to be talking a little bit about monster books and stuff like that because a, f a friend of mine asked me what was my favourite um, monster manual and uh, I wanted to tell him and uh, I thought well I'll do it in a little video response as well as telling him actually physically on, well not physically but on the Twitter and stuff like that so I'm just going to um, get some pictures up if I can let's see where are you right now this is my favourite monster manual and I took a quick picture of it on um, the uh, maps so you can see it physically uh, let's see if I'll scale it up, up there so yeah that's, this is my favourite ma monster manual and I want to show you that and I'll get rid of that and then we'll quickly bring up something else the red box everyone knows this one I think anyone who's ever played D&D would have has seen this one many times over the years because it's one of the earlier games that they brought out by TSR and that's so I've still got the original still, still got this book and I think probably a lot of people who are fans of this particular genre have probably saved this book for themselves over the years as well because they remember it so fondly like I do right let's just uh, get rid of that one and then there was another one this one where is it Ah, here it is. This is the one. Um, this one I found many moons ago at a convention I was going to, and no one—I haven't seen it on the. I went onto the computer and I sort of searched um, covers of um, Dungeons and Dragon books and manuals, and I—I I didn't see this one on any of the uh, pages that I went through, and I went through them twice to make sure I hadn't missed it, and. Uh, that's one I had ages, and there's a little monster manual I've had a few years, and um, I'm not, as I say, I haven't seen it anywhere else, so I don't know whether they, it was just not a very popular one, maybe, because it was only a little one, it was only a hundred pages, I think, of different monsters, and, um, but I loved the picture on the front, I just fought it for the picture on the front, to be honest, so I like the way the wizard was trying to get away and do a runner, but the, the adventure grabs him and pulls him back. And uh, the wolves, uh, the dwarfs all, mo all geared up for battle and stuff like that. Got all the gear on. So I, I just love that picture of them going into a cave, and I, I thought I'd keep that one. I've had it for I don't know 30 years, I suppose, something like that. But as I say I didn't see it anywhere in any of the other books that I was looking for covers. I didn't see it anywhere. Right. So that's that's what I wanted to respond to really, is to show that that's my favourites and. Uh, I've got other many many other books. I've got Dungeon Master Guides by Gary as well. So you know I've got all the old um, characters um, manuals and stuff like that. I keep for I just keep them because I like the covers and I look like, like looking at the pictures and stuff. And I wouldn't say I've used them much in the world of um, Dungeon and Dragons playing, but um, also I thought well it's nice to see this game out now where you can actually play with your friends without actually having them in the same room as you and. Uh, I had this idea myself about 20 years ago, but I didn't have the um, computer technology or the computer, you know, um, programming skills to do anything like this. But um, I did think of it actually as an idea. But anyway, they stole my idea. No, not really. <laughs> but it was an idea I had many years ago. But anyway, that's beside the point. So anyway, just a quick video just to show you my old books and. Uh, that you know what my favourite was and uh, that was it so I'll see you all next time bye from the dungeon